If you're an NFL GM, would you use a premium draft pick on tight end Brock Bowers? We all know the man's got the juice, but history shows that first-round tight ends are a gamble. Our New York Post NFL reporter Ryan Dunleavy has a trending article up on the Post about Bowers and the possible risk of taking him too early. And, uh, Ryan, thanks for hopping on with this, man. I'm going to throw this disclaimer out to the people so they're not up in your comments. This is no sort of hit job on Bowers. We're not leaking any photos or anything like that. You did your due diligence on some of the premium tight ends in the league right now and where they were selected in previous drafts. Disclaimers out there. All right, let's uh, first talk about the pros of Brock Bowers and why, according to just about all the scouting reports, this guy is worth a top 10 pick. Put on the tape. He's a top 10 player in this draft, no doubt about it. Uh, this is that old age-old argument we do with running backs all the time, a positional value. That's what we're doing here with Brock Bowers in tight end. He can uh, separate. He can run away from guys, yards after the catch, make contested catches, line up all over the formation, give you uh, – create uh, matchup nightmares, everything you want in a play offensive playmaker Brock Bowers can do. Yeah, I saw him lined up as the number one receiver and ran a jailbreak screen and kind of broke it for 30-40. I said, this guy's the real deal. And uh, we all agree that this guy is the real deal. But to summarize your article, history shows that teams shouldn't use premium draft capital on a tight end. Educate us on the why. Yeah, I mean, the numbers are scary, right? It's like 10 of the 13 all-pro tight ends since 2013 were not first-round draft picks. Six of the 10 tight ends who led the NFL in receiving yards and catches last year were not first-round draft picks. Um, so it just shows you that the guys who are picked in the first round, who would you rather have? I'll read you some names. I'll tell me which group you prefer. Eric Ebron, Noah Fant, Evan Ingram, O.J. Howard, David Njoku, or George Kittle, Travis Kelsey, Sam Laporta, and Mark Andrews. I mean, that last group is all pro caliber players, and those weren't first-round picks. That first group was the first-round pick group. So I asked Mark Dominic, the former uh, Buccaneers GM, for his thoughts. He had some really interesting ideas on uh, athletic tight ends fighting the ball, not letting it come to them and kind of uh, play strength and the ability that that has to make t yards after the catch. And he says uh, Bowers is much different than the other first round pick tight ends. Yeah, you're talking about those athletic uh, athletic tight ends and how they kind of don't develop into bigger time tight ends because they don't develop the, the technique. You know, you get away with so much with being athletic. It's the same with a speed receiver. They're turned into body catchers because they're used to catching the ball with their body because they've created so much separation already through the use of their speed. So we've talked about what Bowers can bring to an offense and we talked about the history and you've shown those first round uh, tight ends that, that didn't kind of are just middle tier tight ends now. If your Jets GM Joe Douglas and Bowers available at 10, do you bring him to Florham Park? This might be a cop out, Brandon. I I don't know. I like I'd either be a great GM or a terrible GM. Nothing in between because I very rarely agree with what these teams do ever. So no, I would not. I if I'm the Jets, if I'm Joe Douglas and I have Tyron Smith and Morgan Moses as my tackles. I'm picking an offensive tackle, maybe mm -hmm. even trading down and picking an offensive tackle because I don't trust those two guys to stay healthy, and they're both on one-year contracts. So I'm backing up my offensive line after what happened ruining the season for the Jets last year. What do I think Joe Douglas himself will do? I think he'll pick Brock Bowers. Okay. So uh, that's probably what ends up happening for the Jets. And there's a little bit of a Kyle Pitts beware. Remember, Kyle Pitts was the number four pick a couple years ago. That's who Barrett gets compared to all the time, and he just hasn't been that productive over his three years in Atlanta. You think there's any chance that Bowers can slide out of the first round? Out of the first round, no. I okay. mean, out right. of the top ten, yeah. Out of right. the top ten, yes. There's a chance the Jets could pass. I think the Colts are starving for Brock Bowers at 15. If that's what happens, I'm a categorize this article as things that make you say, hmm, you got us thinking the day before the draft, Ryan. Uh, thanks for hopping on with us. Thanks, Brandon.